Welcome to Your Cyber Path, the podcast that helps you get your dream cybersecurity job by sharing the secrets of experienced hiring managers and top cybersecurity professionals with you. Now, on to the show. I'm going to talk about principle two here, which is the principle of fail safe defaults. Now, what that means is that this is a protection mechanism you're going to put in place that if it doesn't know what to do, it should deny access by default. And this way, you're only going to grant access when explicit permissions exist. Now, what does that sound like to you? To me, it sounds like a firewall, right? When we configure our firewalls, we always have that last statement that says, you know, deny any, any, because firewalls execute from the top of the list to the bottom of the list. And once they find something that allows, they do it. And if there is no allow, then we're going to deny. And so that's one of the principles we use all the time in our networks. I do the same thing with all of our systems we build. We're currently building a brand new learning management system. We're just now building through all the user authentication systems that we're going to be putting into this. And, you know, all that has to have this idea of fail safe by default. Um, you know, the idea if you're in a, a building and it uses mechanical locks, uh, generally we do the opposite of that, right? Because if there's a fire and the power goes out, we don't want everybody to be locked in the building. So instead we default open, which is a bad security design principle, but a good life-saving practice. In our computer systems, we want to do it the opposite way. We want to close by default. Anytime you're, you're not sure, lock it down. Yep. Yep. 